Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going through the MC Command Center mod and showing you what you're able to do with this mod. I'll also be showing you how to download and install this mod at the end of the video, so let's get started. So once you have this mod installed, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to a computer that's in your house, and you're going to go over here to the MC Command Center mod. So as you can see here, there's a lot of different things that this mod can actually do for us, so we'll start with the settings one first. So in the MC Command Center settings, you're able to do a couple things. So as you can see here, there's an autosave option where you can adjust that as you would like. Relationship settings, notification console menu settings, money settings, which is actually pretty cool. If you go in here, you can adjust your auto pay bills, pay child support, child support percent. So any bills that you have in the Sims, you can automatically get those paid up, which is really cool. If you go back here, you can go to gameplay settings as well. And then you can also adjust game time speed skill difficulty adjustment, adopt neglected child. Here's where you can actually change your maximum household size as well. So that's actually really neat for the gameplay settings. And then also if you come back here, there's a set age span duration. You can adjust this for human, cat, and dog as you would like. So now if we go to the MCCAS, there's a ton of different options here that we can choose from as well. So we can go define appearance template, apply appearance template. We can also monitor the physique of our sim. We can adjust the settings for offspring. We can change walk styles, set default walk style. So we can see how we want our sim to actually walk. Female, how do we want our sim to walk? As well as male, which is actually pretty cool. So then if you come here to the MC career, as you can see here, you can adjust employment ranges for teens, adults, as well as elder. So if you just click on one of them here, you'll see a number. And then you can change this number in terms of percentage. So this percentage would be the percentage of Sims to be employed for teens. And then if you go back, you can adjust the adults as well as elder. You can also choose to have your child quit school or your teen quit school. I wouldn't recommend that, but you know, it's up to you, of course. And then you can also choose to have a career difficulty adjustment if you would like that. So next is the MC cleaner. So if we go ahead and click on this one. As you can see here, there's a sim cleaner, item cleaner, neighborhood cleaner, as well as relationship cleaner. So if we just go ahead and click on relationship cleaner, just for an example, say we go to pet relationships to clean. As you can see here, there's delete any relationships that are this level or less. Any relationship that is not a significant other or a family related sim with a relationship less than friend will be deleted. So you can go ahead and adjust this as you would like. And then also say relationships to clean it'd be the exact same thing. So whatever friend or good friend or significant other, whatever relationship you want to say clean out, you can go ahead and go into this and do that yourself. So that'll be just for the relationship cleaner, but then you can also go ahead and do the neighborhood item as well as sim cleaner if you would like. So next, if we go to the MC dresser, as you can see here, there's a couple different options we can choose from. So there's ages to run on age up, so this one basically just does an automatic dresser cleanup in terms of whatever age your sim is at. And then there's makeup settings, male after career outfit. So whatever outfit you want your sim to change into after they get home from work or school, you can adjust it here for the male as well as female. Only use saved outfits, percent use, custom skin tone, which is kind of weird. This is when a homeless sim is generated. Use this percentage to determine if they should use defined custom skin tones or default skin tone. I mean, if you're into that, go ahead. Uh, there's also multiple outfit settings, replace situation outfits. So you can go ahead and play through some of these. These are quite cool, actually. So we're gonna skip the MC occult and we're gonna go right to the MC population. So if we go ahead and click on that, as you can see here, there's a moving settings, populating settings, enable or disable bar nights, as well as other settings. So go ahead and click on moving settings first and go check that out. So as you can see here, there's an allow homeless move in, homeless apartment percent, can kick out the elders apparently. Okay, that's interesting. Move single sims, we can bypass played households, allowed stray move ins. Okay, allow stray pets to be adopted into households. Okay, so that's kind of neat. Uh, what else is there? Open houses, so the number of residential lots to not move sims onto automatically within the world. Okay, that's kind of neat. Maximum homeless as well. So a lot of homeless options for sure. So how about we go back and we'll go to populating settings. So here we can actually put in the percent for say babies, toddlers. As you can see here, the list goes on for populating settings. And then what else is there? We can enable or disable bar nights. 
So that's probably going to be enabled. However, we figure that out. We're going to go to that later. And then here in the other settings are just a couple different random ones. As you can see here, no Reaper stalking, randomized visiting Sims, disable immortal Sims, maximize Sims and zones. So just a couple random things for you to go through. So then if we come down to the MC pregnancy, we can go ahead and click on that. And then here you can actually adjust your settings for which age you want pregnancy to happen. So this can actually really help with the baby challenges such as the 100 baby challenge that people are constantly trying. So as you can see here, pregnant sim selection, partner sim selection, you have other pregnancy, adoption settings, marriage sim selection, spouse sim selection, the list goes on. Even pet pregnancy settings, which is interesting if you're into that kind of stuff. So you can go ahead and take a look through here, but this is really helpful for a lot of those um, baby challenges that a lot of people are in right now. So last is the MC tuner. So if we go ahead and click on this one, as you can see here, we can change the behavior of our sim. So change interaction behavior, you know, friendly, stay the night, kiss is always available, stop random flirting, allow teen move in, allow multiple BFFs. And if we go back here, change interaction autonomy. Here we can autonomous mischief, autonomous proposals, autonomous flirty, and you know, whatever you're into. And then what is this autonomy scan? I'm not really sure what this is. So, I mean, you can always try and experiment on this one. So that is the MC command center mod through the computer. But if we actually go ahead and click on one of our Sims and then go to MC command center, and then say we just go to MC cheats, there's a couple different things we can actually do with the MC command center mod through our Sim. So as you can see here, we can go ahead and increase the funds for this guy if we want to. Uh, what else can we do? Increase points, add satisfaction points if we'd like to. We can go ahead and make them happy, complete aspiration goal. And then if we come back here to the MCCAS, as you can see here, there's a couple more things we can do. So we can go ahead and say, set the walk style for them. We can adjust the physique, set sim voice so we can change the voice type, change voice pitch, um, select favorite drink, change the personality traits for him. Say we go back, what else can we do? Let's go to sim commands. We can modify them in CAS. We can set the age for this sim as well. We can make him a toddler, child, teen, an elder if we prefer. Mm, what else can we do? We can maintain this sim. We can rename the sim, delete, kill. We probably don't want to kill the sim, but whatever you're into, I guess. Uh, set the gender preference for him. Um, so yeah, there's a ton of different things we can actually do within the MC command center mod So I actually don't know everything. So there's a ton of different things you can do So I would definitely highly recommend getting this mod and just going through all the different things that you can do and take a look for yourself So to download this mod all you're gonna do is come to the debtor pool website and then go to the MC command center I definitely will leave a link down in the description for you guys so we're going to go ahead and click on the MC Command Center 6.5.0. So when you download a mod, it's going to come in a zipped folder. So what you want to do is you want to get a program that will unzip that folder for you so you can extract those mod files into your Sims 4 mods folder. So the program I use is WinRAR. So I definitely will leave a link down in the description for you guys. So now that we have our mod files here, what we want to do now is locate the folder that we want to put these files into. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Documents, and then Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then Mods, and then it should be just an empty folder depending on how many mods you have. And then you're going to go back over here, and then what we're going to do here is we're basically just going to select all of these files here. And then once you've selected all these files, you're going to go ahead and drag all of these files into that mods folder that we had opened. And that's just it right there. So when you start up the game again, the first thing that will pop up is this mod screen. And it'll show you all the mods that you have installed. So for us, it will be all these MC command center mod files that we just installed. But to make sure that they are going to be working properly, what you want to do is you want to go up to the options menu up top and then game options, and then go over to other, and then making sure that both enable custom content and mods and script mods are allowed. So you wanna make sure that both these are enabled, otherwise your mods will not be able to be read. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see more content just like this one.